All right, we got the gate all hung. Now you can see it. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a, it's a two-sided or a two two gated uh, entrance. So you got a right and a left side. So it makes it a lot easier to open and close. Whether you're uh, unloading animals or uh, bringing in hay or grain, it makes it a lot easier. You can kind of see the whole uh, layout of it. Uh, I just put in some of these galvanized posts here. Um, right here, these are uh, six foot posts, just standard galvanized. Then you can get these, uh, it's a hinge hardware set for these uh, galvanized fencing. Uh, these two gates, as I mentioned earlier, we got from a friend. So, uh, you know, we uh, made out okay on that. Didn't have to buy the gates. Uh, the poles we purchased, uh, we got to get two of these hinge sets. We got one for each side to hang that. And here's what I was talking about. The uh, pins, top one is facing down. Uh, the bottom one is facing up. Right here, this pin is facing up here. This one's down on this end. So that's it. Get the gate all put in. Should uh, make it a lot easier, as I said, to get in and out of here. It's been a pain in the neck to try to get through here. I don't know squeeze through with the mirrors folded in with the F250 uh, but now I'm not going to have that problem anymore it's going to be a lot easier to get in and out of here without having to worry about ripping up the edge of the garden I know we had a bunch of strawberries over there uh, so I'm always clipping off the edge of the garden every time I bring in a load of hay uh, but we should be in pretty good shape now I just I shimmed up the bottom just so uh, the cement will have a chance to set once the cement is all set, I'll give it 24 or 48 hours and then we can pull out these uh, these planks in here and uh, those little flip-flop gate hangers down there. That's just a, You put that in the center here just to keep it latched as you've seen on a regular garden gate or just an entrance gate. But um, I'm probably just going to use a uh, sliding lock or just a chain for now to keep it secured. Uh, so that looks pretty good. Yeah, looks like we got a lot. I don't know if you can see that with the camera soaring around, probably looking for some chicken. He's up pretty high, so I don't know if you can see him. But anyway, that's it. So far, so good. One more project I can check off the list. The old honeydew list. Got plenty of that to do around here. Here comes that hawk again. He's looking for a chicken dinner, I think. We got a few uh, late season baby chicks that hatched, and uh, he's probably looking for them. Or whatever else happens to come by. Good size hawk. That might be even one of those uh, turkey vultures. I don't know. It's got a pretty wide wingspan. I don't know. We'll find out. Hopefully, he doesn't go harvest some of our chickens. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'll keep you posted as the next project comes around. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff wrapped up for the fall before the snow flies.